Want to play the Telltale ones? Uh, I do have the Telltale ones already. I actually need to see, um, let's see here. I need to see which ones came out next. Those are more fun. Are they? So it was Sam and Max Save the World, which I think is just episode, episodic, isn't it? Yeah. Season one. So I have season one, episode one. Um, yeah, I guess I could do that. How much are each episodes anyways? But it got canceled. Yeah, the it was gonna be um so I read the wiki about it. So basically it's like uh it was gonna be the same engine they used for one of the other earlier LucasArts games. It was gonna be the first three D one, I think. And then yeah, it got canceled because I think the studio got shut down or something. Something like that. I don't remember. Alright, so we're gonna play Sam and Max Save the World. Uh, Sam and Max Save the World. Here we go. It's time. Alright. Sam. The same production as this one, right? Uh, here, I'll look into it real quick. And Max. Let me look it up. So, it was going to be... Uh, Freelance Police. It was a graphic adventure game developed by LucasArts uh, from 2002 until its cancellation in 2004. The final game in the company's adventure game era. Freelance Police was originally intended to release for Windows in early 2004 as a sequel to the 1993 Sam and uh, Max Hit the Road. The game was based on the character Sam and Max, anthropomorphic dog, and hyperkinetic rabbity thing, who debuted in, in a 1987 comic book series created by Steve Purcell. St uh, Freelance Police was announced in August 2002 and showcased an electronic uh, entertainment expo E3 in 2003. Like its predecessor... Uh, Freelance Police was designed as a point-and-click ad uh, adventure game, but used a 3D engine in place of the Scum and Grim E engines used in the older LucasArts uh, adventure games. The project's development was led by Michael uh, Stimmy, one of the original designers uh, for Sam and Max Hit and Road, while Steve Purcell um, assisted in developing the game's plot and providing artistic direction. Though the game's development appeared to be proceeding towards a completion without difficulty, LucasArts abruptly canceled production of Freelance Police in March of 2004. Uh, citing economic and market conditions, the game's cancellation was received poorly by fans of the series, Steve Purcell, and, and the video game industry media. Many journalists viewed this move as a culmination in the decline of the adventure game genre. LucasArts uh, later terminated its adventure game development, and many of the freelance uh, police design team left to create Telltale Games and uh, continued development of such adventure games. Huh. Steve Purcell uh, moved the Sam & Max franchise to Telltale Games in 2005, prompting the, a revival of Sam & Max video games. Wow. Who knew? <laughs> Who knew that the the adventure game LucasArts adventure games department would move on to uh, create their own? Um, wow, their own company, Telltale Games, which proceeded to then go out of business. But in the process, they did in fact create The Walking Dead, and um, they also created the. Uh, uh, Wolf Among Us, which I will play the Wolf Among Us at some point because the Wolf Among Us 2 is still in production. I've heard that Wolf Among Us is really good.
So here's uh, Sam and Max, episode one, Culture Shock. Also, I need to change the resolution. to uh, mention way better than the remastered so that's why I was going to say that this is the originals um, been moving around so much bobblehead when are we going to get another case sam surely the local lawbreakers must miss I, our I, esoteric I gotta, brand of personalized criminal justice i got to i got to fix this sharp it's like a swallow little buddy Okay, don't scream this time. I gotta. Can I? Is there a settings? Leave Swiss cheese by the rat hole, or you'll never see your precious phone alive again. Jiminy Christmas Eve in a padlock sweatbox. Some misguidedly ballsy felons napped our phone. Yeary, I just went cheese shopping. How did they know? Be sure it's Swiss cheese, right? And be quick about it. Ordinarily, I hate yielding to extortion, but I have to admit I'm half charmed by the sheer spunk of that oily little perp. Where'd you put the cheese, Max? Gosh, it was hours ago. You know I have the memory of a dried trout. Sadly, yes, I do. Well, it's got to be somewhere in this room. All right, let me see. Can I? Okay, options. Here we go. Thank God. All right, full screen on. Yeah. Okay, 1280 by 960 is the highest I can make it. All right. Got it. It's a little better. Um, I think putting it on not full screen might actually be better for the... No. It's just for some reason incredibly laggy. What the hell? What is going on? What the f the heck? What happens if I change it to low graphics? Okay, that actually works now. Okay, apparently having it on high graphics is not a good idea. What the heck? Okay. Um, I mean, it looks fine on low graphics. That's super strange. Apparently high graphics is too much. And I don't even know a difference. Huh. Super strange. Um. This game is old, yeah. Let's go ahead and click new, and we're gonna do this again. Let's go ahead and watch that intro one more time here. Oh, shoot, wait. Forgot I'm gonna have to... Hold on. I'm gonna have to change the, uh game capture here because it's since it's technically i'm gonna do a you're gonna get a kind of weird version of it so we're gonna scale this to uh fit the screen um we're just gonna go ahead and do that and then i'm gonna do this background and so you're gonna get something like this all right <laughs> Culture shock. Quit moving around so much, bobblehead. When are we gonna get another case, Sam? Surely the local lawbreakers must miss our esoteric brand of personalized criminal justice. Patience is a sharp razor to swallow, little buddy. Okay, don't scream this time. Ah, I got it! I got it! Hello? 
Leave Swiss cheese by the rat hole, or you'll never see your precious phone alive again. Jimmy uh. Christmas Eve in a padlock sweat box. Some misguidedly ballsy felons napped our phone. Eerie. I just went cheese shopping. How did they know? Be sure it's Swiss cheese, right? And be quick about it. I mean, how old Ordinarily, is Steve Purcell anyway? But I have to admit, I'm half charmed by the sheer spunk. If he's around in the, if he's like around the, the age of sixty or Gosh, something at this hours point, ago. you know, or I have 50? the memory of a dried trout. Sadly, it yes, makes I sense do. why uh, well, it's gotta be somewhere in this room. his jokes have turned to uh, politics. All right, I'm gonna go grab a water real quick, uh, and then we'll start. So, give me one, one moment. Water. All right, let's see if I can get through this one without needing a walkthrough. Who knows? Hey, Max. When is it, Sam? Uh, where's that cheese? You sure you don't remember where you put that cheese, little buddy? Sheesh, you'd think I'd forgotten my pants or something. It's here in the office someplace. Uh, I wonder who called. Who do you think that was on the phone? Maybe it was the governor calling about my plan to secede from the union. Need that phone. I wish we hadn't missed that call. It might have been the commissioner calling with a case. Yeah, hey, or maybe it was the president about my idea to do daylight savings time in five minute increments. I'm feeling a chill. Does that feel drafty in here to you? Hey, you're the one with clothes on. Do you ever wonder what life would be like if we were bugs? Short, I hope. Although I've always wanted to have more arms. So true. Some days I can feel the atmosphere pushing on my head like a giant thumb. Some days I hide weights in your hat to see if you'll notice. <laughs> Let's right. get to work. Let's I couldn't work. agree more. All right. I think Hubert could use some water, Max. I'm training him to fetch it himself. He's a plant. Can't do anything. They say graffiti is the poetry of our time. Just what we need. More lame poetry. Yeah, they're they're really quick and fast with the uh, jokes in this one, huh? We have a little box. Look at that. Oh, <gasps> big gun. <laughs> Tempting sometimes, but I become fond of the little guy. Oh, okay. All right, we'll put it back. This Oxen might come go. in handy. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do that again. Sorry, I thought that was funny. Remember our motorcycle trip through the Midwest? Just you, me, and the authorities from seven states. But those were quiet at times. So true. All right. Uh, was this Remember one? our trip to the moon, Max? Like cottage cheese through a strainer, Sam. You continue to baffle me, little pal. Cottage cheese through a. Huh? One of these days we're gonna. Don't question it. 
I'm still working on getting the rest of the darts from the police impound. Oh. No dice. God, I love... Alright. Um... I immediately really like, uh... The fact that every... It's just, it's just so nice playing this one. I don't have to, like, right-click to select what button to click. Hello, so nice. Spatula. How's the weather in there? Oh, nice! What a lovely, uh... Where's the rest of the news collection, Max? It's a surprise! <laughs> what a lovely, uh, decoration piece. Surely that will not get me in trouble. Surely. Last month's donuts. Don't throw that out! I'm saving it for a science experiment! You bet, little buddy. You bet, little buddy. 2002 was a great year for calendars. I'm glad we stocked up. We've been going through them at a rate of about one a year since then. I kind of want to put more bullet holes in the wall. Life <laughs> troubling your digestion? Reality blocking your passages? Maybe. Spill your troubles with emetics, the handbook for multicolored happiness, and separate your bliss. So lost. Hey, that's that personal color spectrum book. Self-help for the helplessly selfish. Perfect. I'll take two. All right. Once we find the phone, we can uh, order it. I bought that VCR at the supermarket. So you know it's a good one. Still smells like asparagus, though. Ah, uh, good old VCR. <laughs> Max's test. <laughs> <laughs> Has like teacher's pet vibes or like you're you're in trouble. Y you were a bad boy, so you're sitting next to the teacher now. No comment. Uh, take the bowling ball. Lou. Who's Lou again? The bowling ball, of course. Yes. Of course. <gasps> lava lamp. Someone once told me that the contents of a lava lamp make an excellent hand cream. A lava that lamp. Was me. Which is why I haven't tried it. I, I just wanna. I wanna keep clicking stuff. Ah uh, yes, I remember that case. Particularly gruesome. Uh -huh. Twenty years worth of electric bills take up a surprising amount of space. Now why would we ever pay for that? When I got this thing, I thought it would be useful. Where else would we keep the pieces of paper that we're never going to look at again? That's what I'm thinking. All right, rat hole. Yoo-hoo, tiny hoodlums. Leave the cheese by the hole. Okay. Jesse James hand. Oh, Jesse James hand from the first game. And it's we also have Jesse unrendered. James hand appraised one of these days. I bet it's especially valuable because it's autographed. <laughs> Lovely. Nothing else to click here, but a closet Wait. door. Oh. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do that to you, Max. Oh, <gasps> oh there it is. All right, we found the cheese. Unfortunately, this is not Swiss cheese. So what? So, the rat was very specific about wanting Swiss cheese in particular. Gosh dang it. All right. Well, actually, I have an idea. <laughs> I have video game logic at great. <laughs> Take that, you law-breaking dairy products. Sam, no! The cheese was innocent! Innocent? I think not. Ah, there we go. It's Voila. been Swiss. Swiss cheese. Or close enough to fool the casual observer, anyway. Don't say voila. All right, Swiss cheese. In the hole you go. Greetings. The members of the Benevolent Brotherhood of Vermin would like to thank you for your offering. The members of Sam and Max would like their phone back now. If you don't mind. I regret to inform you the situation has changed. What? And I am unable to comply with your request. A list of additional demands for the return of the phone is as follows. Fucking kill him. Yeah, there we go. Now, let's discuss this calmly. Let's debone the smarmy little skis and see if the phone's in there. I ain't talking, coppers. 
Jimmy Two Teeth ain't no rat. Uh, well, I ain't talking. All right, all right, all right. My partner's Look, dangerous. I want to help you, but my partner is a little unhinged. I'm afraid I may be unable to keep him from harming you in some colorfully <laughs> gruesome fashion. <laughs> Let me at him, Sam. Eh, I can take care of myself. Oh, you can. Maybe you'd like it if we played you some music. How about Cat Stevens? Fine. Jimmy Two Teeth ain't afraid of no cats. Hey, dog face, your partner's giving me a headache. God damn. Fine. Help me help you, Jimmy. What the heck is that supposed to mean? I have no idea, but it always sounds good on TV. Help me help you. Okay, right, let's make we'll a deal. We'll go half easy on you if you'll just cough up the phone. Yeah, yeah. Never happened, pig. Fine. I'm thinking about stuffing a light bulb down your throat, perp. Go ahead. I've been a little hungry. Can I go now? Damn. Okay. I'm about ready to wring your scrawny, trash-eating neck. You think you're scary? You don't know where his hands have been. Or when I last washed them. Who cares? I'm a rat, remember? Amateurs. Damn it. This is getting a little dicey. Let's, uh... You mentioned a headache. Would you like some aspirin? Oh, and while I'm at it, is there anything else I can do to make you comfortable? Are you thirsty, perhaps? Light's too bright? Well, oh, here we go. Nice. Yeah. There, we go. It, there we really go. There we go. Nice so cop high. moment. All I right. got me a thing about heights. They make me nervous, you know? Oh, really? Oh, you got a... You got a... You got a thing about heights? Hmm. I'd be happy to let you down off the desk if you'll hand over our phone. Nah, it ain't all that scary. Damn it. Okay. Uh... Don't like hides, eh? How'd you like it if I dangled your greasy hide out the window? Hey, you wouldn't. Wait! I warn you, I'm known for my fuzzy white butterfingers. It's true. You should see him trying to tie an ass guy. All right, all right! Have mercy! I've had mercy. It was unpleasantly gooey, like, well, like things that have fallen onto pavement from a great height. I give up! Take your phone and let me go! He oh, did for eat the it. Love of, I wish I could unsee that. Hello. Yes? Great gouts of steaming magma on a beeline for the orphanage. We're on our way. Wait, what? Yeah! Where's the rat? I let him go. Who was on the phone? It was a commissioner, Max. Multiple reports of malfeasance in the neighborhood. Oh, joy! That's my second favorite feasance. Idiot. I guess I'm still a little sick. Right away. All right, well, let's get out of here, buddy. First, let me say. Here we go. All right, let's get out of here. Oh, okay. Yay! Whee! Go get them, little buddy. They say graffiti is the poetry of our time. Just what we need. More lame poetry. Just what we need. One way. One way, dead end. Street signs are such fitting metaphors for the human condition. Remind me to refill your prescriptions. <laughs> no. No. I don't want to take my meds. Whoa. Dead end. Dead end. One way, dead end. Street signs are such fitting metaphors for the human condition. Remind me to refill your prescriptions. Remind me to refill your prescriptions. Looks like there's going to be a lawnmower show. Great! I love riding mowers. They're like golf carts with teeth. Yeah, I'm sure you do, little buddy. Here, get this. Hey, a can of spray paint. And it's not even empty. Free items. Love it. Let's go to lefties. Because I just this feel like used it. to be Lefty's tool rental shop. Good old Lefty. 
I'll miss I'll him. I'll miss him. You couldn't stand Lefty. You once poked him in the eye with the number three socket spanner. Exactly. Good times. Oh, let's go down this dark alley. All right. Oh, let's go and. What does the billboard say? Look, Max. Liver and onions are in town. I know. I can't wait. I love when they throw expired meat products at the crowd. I don't want to go and see those. Or Tampering whatever. with the mail is a federal offense, punishable by fine and imprisonment. As we found out after the incident with the garden hose. Ah, memories. Good old Max. Classic. All right. Can we wrap the place? What the fuck is that thing? Welcome! You look like you could use some therapy! Not from a wide-eyed circus freak like you. Hey, I know you! Hey, that's right. You're one of the lovable scamps from that 70s TV show about the singing soda jerks. The soda poppers, yeah! Hi, peepers! We loved your show. I don't know what you're talking about! My name is Civil Pandemic, licensed psychotherapist! Huh? Uh... Uh, are you sure are you're you sure Sybil? Your name is Sybil, not Peepers. Absolutely, Sybil Pandemic, licensed psychotherapist. That's me. He's trying to pull a fast one, Sam. Where's your gun? Violence is not the answer. Since when, Sam? We're dealing with a dangerously delusional psychotic. He here. has a point. Obviously, we need to deal with this person right now. But first, let me ask uh, some questions here. How about a little analysis? Certainly! Tell me what's bothering you. Uh... Every time I watch television, I want to shoot something. That's quite normal, but you might want to try Brady Culture's Ibo video. It's very soothing compared to regular television. Ibo? Yes, my runny poached egg-like eyes could use a workout. You won't regret it! I hate his voice. Got a copy of this Have video? You got a copy of this cockamamie video? I'm all out, but they probably still got a truckload or two over at Bosco's. What's high bro exactly? Ibo! It's called Ibo! It's a whiny baby it's a voice. It's ocular exercises. So you can do push-ups with your eyes? Sort of. Just watch the video. I don't think he... Okay, he blinks. Who's this lady culture person? Brady Culture! He's only the most insightful and amazing man <sighs> on the planet, that's all! I want to rip it's his ears Sean out. Penn? Not anymore! I'm so disillusioned. Enough said. Uh... Sybil's normally a girl's name, isn't it? Must have been tough while you were growing up. Why do you think I became a licensed psychotherapist? Wait, what? Could we see your driver's license or some sort of ID, Sybil? My psychotherapy license is hanging over there on the wall. How about something with a picture on it, you obvious lunatic, you? I could draw one on there if it would put your mind at ease. Oddly, I don't think it would. You're a dead ringer for peepers from that old soda popper show. I get that a lot, but I'm Sybil Pandemic, licensed psychotherapist. Right. Excuse me for a minute, would you? Sure! I can see you! Whoa! Where'd he go? Hey, there he is! You attacked a licensed psychotherapist? How could you? Just comes naturally, I guess. I guess I can't shoot him. Can I use a boxing glove and beat him up? Let's, uh, let's sit on the couch. I've got half a mind to stretch out for a little bit. I think you have to stretch the whole thing, or it rips. You baffle me sometimes, Max. Impressive credentials. Thank you! Isn't this a tattoo shop? 
that This isn't a therapist. therapist. Oh, it is. How would you know? You don't have a tattoo. Don't I? Ah, the tiki. Hold over from the days when you could sell all kinds of cheap crap without a successful children's television show. Envious? A little. Now it's a psycho therapy. Psycho ward. Psycho ward. I think those might be iron ons. Convenient and painful. A sure fire. Man, the music the needs to be turned down just a little bit. Just a little bit. It's good. But I think it is just a little too loud. Hello, is anybody there? Can I play with that? Ah, it's good exercise for the eyes, but Brady Culture's iPo video is better. I d who the fuck is it's zero Brady Culture's like iPo video? The same could be said for a lot of our friends. This is relax. That may be the least relaxing sign I've ever seen. What about the one at the barber shop that says low fatality rate? I stand corrected. It's getting late. Hey Sam, if it's always getting later the and later, then that how come it's early them sometime? in the first place? That's one of the great mysteries, little buddy. Thank God! I've been locked in that closet so long I was starting to invent life stories for the mothballs. I've got to sit down. Oh my God! He's still here? Call a cop! You're in luck, ma'am. Sam and Max. We're freelance police. Civil pandemic. Licensed psychotherapist. Nice to know ya. Arrest that lunatic immediately! Uh... What's the charge? What's the charge? Assault! Kidnapping! Identity theft! Those are good charges. Some of my favorites! And what about mopery? He locked me in the closet, and he's been pretending he's me! Gadzooks! Kinda... Why? Well, these cases can be very complicated and delicate. There may be repressed feelings of inadequate transference or latent, unwarranted hypochondriac Freudianism. Come again? Keep he's a complete whack job. Although actually, like now that, that I look I don't, closely, I, don't know, I think man. he's been hypnotized. Great thundering jellyfish on the squishy road to mayhem. Hypnosis. Yep, that's what I said. <laughs> Are there steps we can take? Soothing music, or perhaps some sort of invasive surgery? Shock treatment! Shock treatment! Typically, a hypnotic state can be revised after rendering the subject susceptible to new input. Sorry, I don't speak psychotherapist. You've got to knock them unconscious to bring them out of it. Knock them unconscious! Now you're talking! I can demonstrate on this guy if you'll knock him out for me. Consider it done! Okay. <laughs> Max just wants to kill. I feel like Sam and Max would really like uh, playing Prison Architect. All right, beat him up. I can see you. Please stop doing that. And what? Fan. Max almost lost a finger in a fan like that once. Yeah, but it wasn't my own finger. Okay, so we need to find a way to spray paint him. I have the strangest urge to redecorate. Fight it, Sam! Fight it! <laughs> Those big eyes. I can see you! Whoa! Where'd he go? Hey, there he is! You attacked a licensed psychotherapist? How could you? Just comes naturally, I guess. Jesus, man. This... His voice. I can't take it anymore. Ah, the tiki. Hold over from the days when you could sell all kinds of cheap crap without a successful children's television show. Envious? A little. Tiki. Think Very positive. Reassuring. Now, let's just keep that closed. Fox. Ah, taxidermy. The dead aren't truly the kitsch of the living. And vice versa. You're an unfathomable well of something, Max. 
Okay, so we need to knock. Nice cactus. We need Tomorrow? to knock the kid out Final. somehow. Hey, if you dip that in ink, you could do thirty tattoos at once. What are you doing behind if the tiki? I could tiki? scare up thirty customers at once. I'd still be in the tattoo business. Hey, Sybil. Hello. Uh, I meant the other Sybil. So you guys gonna take care of this imposter or what? Imposter. What happened to your tattoo business? Don't tell me they actually enforce those health code violations. No, no, of course they don't. But a guy came in here and asked me to put a ship on his chest, and I misheard him, and, Was well, I decided sus. to hang it up after that. Excuse us, we've got work to do. I'll say. All right, well, I'll be back. I don't have what I need right now. So enjoy dealing with that. Relax. <laughs> Wait, did piercings, that doesn't work. Tattoos, that doesn't work. Now psychotherapy. Seems like she's really struggling to, to hold a job. By the way, I don't even remember. We're supposed to find the commissioner, right? Last time it was a cat. Where's the commissioner this time? I once hid in that dumpster to escape a rampaging gorilla. I still don't know how she got out of the office. I was sure it locked the door. Keeps change. She will ch keep changing um, that through episodes. Oh, okay. Wait a second. Look, it's Peeper again. It's another one of the soda poppers. Wow. What are the odds? Say there, soda man. Oh, you made me mess up. Now I have to start all over. Specs, it's you! Wow, an actual celebrity vandalizing our neighborhood. This is great. Remember when you were well, famous? You sure were a famous, oddly underdeveloped teen celebrity at one time. I'm still famous. Are you? Um, like a million point one times more Sounds famous. Sounds madly than you. better. Well, we're I feel really like this was a way of saving money. Four year old repeat criminal demographic. How about an autograph? What have you been up to lately? So, Specs, what are you up to these days? Any new projects? Yes, I have a new light in my life, and his name is Brady Culture. He's the genius behind the Ibo Ocular Fitness Program. You really should try one of his videos. Uh, where can I find a copy of the video? They carry him over at Bosco's. You should get it. Ibo sounds like an electronic archery toy. Ibo is the truly visionary ocular fitness program. Try the video today. Sounds fascinating, but enough about that. You can never get enough of Brady Culture's Ibo. Didn't I see you on an episode of Celebrity Slap Fight? I was desperate. I was heavy into three ring binders at the time and I needed the money. You got your clock cleaned by that lady from Old and in the Way. Never saw that walker coming. Say, how about an autograph for my pal? You can sign my butt. Make it out to Squinky. I don't sign butts anymore. People get ticklish and they move and it gets all messed up. I'll risk it. Sorry, I can't stop painting. This has to be perfect. What was your catchphrase again? What was that catchphrase you used to say on your show? It was like, you messed me up, or something like that. <sighs> you made me mess up, which you just did. Thanks a lot. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, that's nice. Um. Tell your me something painting. about that trendy modern street art you're perpetrating. What about? Who or How what did are you, you select your subject matter? He looks like a fried egg. It's Brady Culture. He's the genius behind the Ibo Ocular Fitness Program. You really should try one of his videos. I'd rather try a fried egg. Okay. Sounds fascinating. But enough about that. So is you everything can never get enough of Brady Culture's Ibo? I really, really like talking about that. Uh, what is, is this? this art or is it advertising? I, I, I'm not. Is there really any difference? Good point, little buddy. 
Why are you painting? Do you live to paint, or do you paint to live? I don't know why I do it. I just have to paint. Okay. Are you aware that vandalism is illegal? And worse, unoriginal. We like to punish people who do it who aren't us. How could this be vandalism? <laughs> Everyone loves Brady culture. Uh, how'd you learn the paint? Did you take lessons to learn how to do that? No, it just came to me one morning. This morning, in fact. Oh, okay. Is the paint supposed to go outside the lines like that? What? No! Where? <laughs> I'm just pulling your dwarfish leg, my friend. Don't do that! Dwarfish. You messed up again. Well, we'll leave you to it. No, 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 wait, no, wait, no, wait, no, wait. Me next. So, oh, man, I... I only s paint Brady culture. Damn it. No, 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 go back. Hey, Specs. Let's talk some more about your, uh, artwork. What about? You messed up Max, again. is that a fly in the paint there? <laughs> what? No. Where? <laughs> Just kidding again. <laughs> and people wonder why I need therapy. <laughs> well, we'll leave you to it. But you have to agree to paint me next. Sorry, I only paint Brady culture. culture. Shut up. Hey, Specs. Um, you're under arrest. By the way, we're freelance police, and you're under arrest. No, I've really got to finish this. But thanks anyway. Um, that's not how it works. Seriously, you're under arrest. Come along quietly, and no one gets hurt. Actually, I prefer that you don't come quietly. Must finish painting. Okay. Guess we don't get Excuse to. Excuse us. We've got important things to do. Don't we all? All right. Well, I guess we're not arresting him. It says they've bred a horse with eight legs. Does it run twice as fast? No, but it does eat twice as much. Legs? It says cloning rights activists are cloning themselves to create a bigger voting block. It works for locusts. You can shoot the one sign. Which one? This one? Hold on, let me check. Hmm. Fire hydrant. <gasps> Oops. I actually clicked off the game. Hmm. Takes me back to my childhood. Gumbo. Looks like he's got Boston baked beans in there this month. How do they stay fresh? They don't. They don't. Here, I'll shoot the sign. Remember our old car, Max? I said I was sorry. Yeah, from the first game. I remember. This one? Uh, oops. I didn't do it. Have no Jeez. fear, simple citizens. The freelance police are here to keep the peace. Violently, if possible, you called. It's just you two? Where's the SWAT team? Where's the National Guard? Where's NASA? NASA? Hold on, Bosco. What's the problem? What's the problem? It's a terrorist. A munchkin terrorist. He'll be the death of us all. Where is this Lilliputian agitator? Are you blind? He's right there. Hey, it's another one of the soda poppers. Isn't he the one with the water control issues? Yeah, Wizard. He's a former child star. Oh, just lock him up and throw away to jail. What's he doing? Exactly what is the nature of Wizard's malfeasance? He's delivering videos I didn't even order. Brady Culture's eyeball, what is that? Oh, it's something bad, I can tell you that. Videos. And look at that display. It's subversive and hideous. I don't know any white guy with a fro like that. I hear that. 
Uh, let's see. Oh, there's actually more text than that. I can ask him so many questions. Remain calm. That's the worst thing I think you can tell anybody. One of us needs to take a couple dozen elephant tranquilizers and call it a day. And you should take a few yourself. How can I be calm with the munchkin terrorist in my store? Well. <laughs> the guy, I, uh, you want to do questions. Any That's idea true. why a freakish relic of the 70s would unload videos in your store? Think about it. No individual acting alone would ever deliver videos of his own volition. It makes no sense. I smell a conspiracy. I think you're just catching the hot weenies in an updraft. No, it's definitely a conspiracy. Bosco, you own the store. Why don't you just throw it out of the store or get rid of it? I'm just saying. What sort of malevolent forces would conspire to burden you with unwanted video cassettes? Oh, they've all got it in for me. The government, the media, the mafia, aliens, sentient computers, Everyone. my mother, Niels Bohr, Switzerland, headlights, lips, pastrami, hairspray, tail tail. Stop right there! Hairspray had no part in this. Oh, sir, that's what you'd like to believe. <clears throat> hairspray. Have you actually witnessed this Ivo video with your own eyes? Only a fool would watch a strange video. You he does have cameras, though. Yes. Any other heinous terrorist activities to report? Yes. He keeps using my bathroom. Who knows what he's doing in there? I think I know. So, we've got an unwanted video dumper and serial leak taker. Not even the National Guard can help us now. Jesus. So, all this wizard character's doing is delivering videos. And abuse solicitation his of these That's videos. It? Did he steal any of your overpriced merchandise or at least try to disembowel you with a sharpened spork? No way. I've got BTAD, the single most technologically advanced security system ever conceived by the human mind. Oh, okay, cool. BTADs? Is that one of those acronym things I've been hearing so much about? Yep. Bosco Tech Automated Defense System. I made it myself. Wow, I always wanted to automate my defense. How does it work? Just pull a weapon, you'll see. Or try and walk out of here with something. Go ahead, I dare you. Maybe we will. Okay. At the risk of sounding callous, how come your fancy pants defense system can't even stop small bladder boy over here? It was designed to keep people from taking stuff out of the store, not from bringing it in. All right. A rare case of reverse shoplifting. Buy one, get Shop one. Dropping. Hmm, yeah, I suppose so. <laughs> Buy one, get one. I think we got it. Okay. Anything else? Um. Nice place you got nice here. Nice place you got here. What's so nice about it? Um. Nice name. Bosco's inconvenience. Nice name. It's true. It really is inconvenient. Well, thanks. I try. Uh, nice. How do you get out of that cage anyway? That's for me to know and you never to find out. Okay. Uh, nice security measures. What's with the maximum security prison motif? You'd been robbed as many times as I have. You'd do the same. I've never been robbed, actually, but then I typically point a large firearm at anyone who approaches me. You crack me up, little buddy. You crack me up, little buddy. What were we talking about? Um... I want to buy something. We'd like to patronize your fine establishment, my good man. By patronize you, he means we want to buy stuff from you, not mock you. We probably will mock you, but that's not what he meant. I know what he meant. Don't patronize me. So what do you want to buy? What have you got? What have you got? Well, I still got that big sale on cheese. Oh yeah, cheese! I want that! And I might have another item of interest behind the counter. Hmm... What's behind the counter? I accept your thinly veiled invitation to ask about the item behind the counter. Oh, it's just a little something I like to call a tear gas grenade launcher. 
Tear gas grenade launcher? What? Oh, yeah, I really want that. It's the latest in Bosco Tech innovation. It'll clear out a room of militant college students in no time. It's like a Fallout in PC. Really like one of those traitors, right and they just have a legendary weapon. Just for some reason. And it's named, like, Matilda. Give us the tear gas. We'd like that tear gas grenade launcher. That'll be $10,000. $10,000? Oh, damn it. We'll have to give out, like, a million tickets. Or one really big one. You mean... White Collar Crime Drive. Where corporate criminals go to rejoice in their ill-gotten gains. After we blow this popsicle stand, we can go hunt us up one of those starchy cesspiles and hit them where it hurts the most. Right in the pocketbook. That's not what I thought you were going to say, but that's good too. Give us the tear gas. We'd like that tear gas grenade launcher. That'll be $10,000. Oh, were you serious about that? It's a bargain. Trust me. Trust me. I never trust a man that says trust me twice. We gotta find an illegally wealthy motorist and quick. Okay. We'll take much that for cheese, the cheese that's just been sitting out in the open for everyone to touch. I can't scan it from way back here. You gotta bring it to the counter so I can ring it up. Do we have to do everything around here? Trust me, trust me. Do you have, do you any... have any weasels on a stick? Nope. Do you have any donuts? Do you have any two handed broadswords? Nope. Do you have any cherry donuts? No, I don't have any Do you cherry have any vegetables donuts. In the shape of famous naturalists? Nope. Do you have any Do you have any candy pink fat boys? Nope. Do you have any exiled political dissidents? Nope. No. Do you have any weapons of mass destruction? Who's asking? <laughs> Do you have any... Hmm, I've run out of ideas. Well, you can always just start over again. Good idea. Good idea, just keep asking the same question. Nothing for us right now. Okay. Uh... Bye. We'll chat more later, Bosco, but right now it's time to get up close and personal with that pint-sized evildoer. Stop that crazy man before he kills us all! So true. What do we have here? Organ traders? Self-loading weekly? Oh, let me see that. Organ traders? Well, it is on special. And we are running dangerously low. We do want that cheese. Lottery tickets. One dollar lottery tickets. Two dollars. I'm feeling lucky already. Sounds like a bargain. Yeah, buy one, get one. Special. Buy one, get one. What a deal! Huh. Nothing like a gaggle of security cameras pointed at a guy to make him feel at home. A gaggle? I'm comfortable with it because I'm uncommonly I love that word. Because it means like a... I forget how much a gaggle it implies whenever you do like a certain amount. Who eats coal tar? Free videos? Don't mind if I do. Smokers. Brady Culture's Ibo for ocular fitness. The revolutionary isometric exercise. What's so revolutionary about it? See through walls and clothing, roll your eyes at lightning speed, lose five pounds of eyeball fat. Oh good, I can never seem to lose that last five pounds. What do you say we start office movie night a little early today? I'll bring the caramel coated sugar logs. Okay, cool. Sludgy machine. With 100% all natural sludge. This I week's flavor, sludge. wheatgrass and meatloaf. That sounds good. I think it's the tinge of green that makes this coffee especially appealing. I take my coffee green, like my men. He likes his men green? Max, I've got a great idea involving you, a microwave, and six feet of aluminum foil. Go on. Maybe another time. <laughs> nachos. They're mine, nachos. Ketchup, mustard, and purple stuff. As vaguely Lean. referred to on TV. It's lean. Public restrooms. Unholy temples to all things unsanitary. I wouldn't go in there for all the tea and tea Probably, ter probably terror. Lots of tears. 
Uh oh. Time out for number one. Looks like he opened his floodgates. I hope he enjoys it as much as I did. All right, let's steal the crate then. The crate that delivers Bosco's terror. Oh, he's back. Say, Max. I am not getting in what that thing eat? again. It took me weeks to get the fishy smell out of my fur. I have no idea. Caution landmines. Chilled and preserved fluids. I wonder if what? Bosco used the fluid sample I submitted. I hope not. Ooh, hot we hot weenies. weenies. Look, Sam, Mr. Hot Weenie's eating a hot weenie. This rampant weenie cannibalism turns my stomach. Disgusting. No thanks. I brought my lunch today. We want to buy something. What do you got your eye on? Uh, the cheese. Okay, Mac, we want this cheese. Okay. Standard cheese background check. I'll need to see at least six forms of ID, a valid federal cheese license, a completed organ donor card, a written release signed in the presence of a notary public, I actually and have all of those cards from on the me right now. Grades. That's pretty inconvenient. It's okay, Sam. I can be brave. We'll just have to struggle cheeselessly onward. <laughs> uh, nothing for us right now. Okay. All right, I'm gonna pull out a gun. Ow. Ooh. Ooh. That's what I'm talking about. Clean up on aisle three. <laughs> you okay, Sam? I'll need a new skull, but otherwise, no complaints. Bosco's is a gun-free zone. Gun-free? Sartre was right. Purgatory really is a convenience store. Don't make me laugh, little buddy. It jiggles my sensitive cranium. This Bosco's place seems a little sus. Is that clock correct? Well, it's only got one hand, so probably not. All right, well, time to leave. What? Oh. Ooh. Oh yeah, the cheese. Did you see that? Oh yeah. Attention shoppers, the cheese ain't free. Sam, are you dead? Too early to tell. No one steals from Bosco. An honest but excruciatingly painful mistake. All right, well, time to give them the cheese back. Let's just return the cheese to its table. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. It is what it is, but it's life. All right, so we need to Is there a way to give cheese to Max? I don't think I can force Max to do anything like in the other games. Can I get inside the car? Where are we going, Sam? Let's go give a ticket to Rich Criminal. Let's go cruise for lawbreakers, Max. Goody. Anyway, Sam, I'm not sure if I mentioned this, but I may have accidentally chewed through our brake lines. No, I don't think you did mention that. I guess we'll just have to slow down by violently rear-ending other motorists. Already planning on it, little buddy. All day. Please accept my condolences for your tail light. Attention, fellow drivers. If for any reason we need to address you, we'll indicate it simply by crashing into the back of your vehicle. Thank you. Beep. 
Sam one, tail light zero. I could do this all day. Please accept my condolences for your tail light. Sam one, tail light zero. I could do this all day. What's the point in doing this? This is just kind of here. I guess this is just a fun little thing you can mess around in, I guess. It has no purpose other than... People of Earth, we come in peace! Just kidding. Prepare to die! To shoot stuff? Oh. I like doing that. You'll be needing to stop someone, though. Well, that was fun. All right, time to watch that video. I bought that VCR at the supermarket. So you know it's a good one. Still smells like asparagus, though. Okay, Max, ready for that ocular workout? No, stop! We don't have any popcorn. Sweet alligator dentures soaking in formaldehyde. That was close. Quick, before it starts. Hello, I'm Brady Culture. You may remember me from Culture's Clubhouse, the massive worldwide television hit that ran for six episodes in 1970. <clears throat> what you are about to see will change your life forever. So watch closely. Now listen up, you tasteless Philistines. You love me. You adore me. You want to name all your children after me. I love you. I adore you. I want to name all my children after you. Sam, look! Ocular fitness, my eye. That videotape hypnotized Jimmy Two Teeth. I think I like him better this way. We've got to find this Brady culture and stop him before he hypnotizes every consumer of cheap self-help videos. Ooh, can I have his hair when we're done? Only if you keep it on a leash. Great God, they still did not come back with the popcorn. We gotta stop this guy. Whee! It would be game over though. I guess. I'm gonna use the spray paint on my graffiti. This could use a little improvement. It up. Oh, now I've got to fix it, brain freeze. The dumpster. They say graffiti is the poetry of our time. Just what we need more lame poetry. More this could paint. use a little improvement. With my paintings. Now I've got to fix it all up. Ha. Huh. Alright, can I keep walking this way? No. Maybe I should talk to that one guy. 
I know I didn't talk to him, but... Hmm. Shoot, I'm a therapist. Just kidding. All right, that was fun. Oh, God damn it. Jab me. Oh, great. Oh, no, the game crashed. Dang it. I guess I'll talk to, uh, what's his name? Hey there, Mr. Wizard. No need to be formal. My friends just call me Wizard. And so do my enemies and lots of people like you I've never met. Everyone calls me Wizard. What are you doing here? What exactly are you doing here? Delivering videos. Take one. They're free. Uh... What's the story with these videos? Brady Culture's Ibo is the ocular fitness regimen for people on the go. Um, who are they? Who exactly is this Brady Culture fellow supposed to be? And what kind of steroids does he use on his hair? Brady Culture is a genius, and his Ibo program is a boon to all mankind. Ooh, a boon! Why don't people use that word more often? And did you know he was the star of Culture's Clubhouse in 1970? Fascinating. It's a child star bonanza. What can you tell me about Ibo? Ibo is a revolutionary new program of isometric exercises to promote ocular fitness. You can learn to move objects with your eyes, even see through walls and clothing. What if I don't wear clothing? You gotta watch this tape. It changed my life. Does it have any celebrity endorsements? Don't these things usually have celebrity endorsements? What am I, chopped liver? Oh, right. Sorry. Did Bosco actually order these videos? Did Bosco actually order this many videos? How should I know? And did I mention they're free? What, you just deliver them whether people order them or not? The word must be spread. Ibo is the path to enlightenment and ocular fitness. Hmm. Who exactly is this Brady Culture fellow supposed to be? And what kind of steroids does he use on his hair? Brady Culture is a G. Ooh, a boon! Fascinating. Well, that's nice. What is? What is? Uh, you're breaking the law. Are you aware that you're breaking the law? Come on, guys. There's no law against giving away free stuff. Unlawful deliveries are punishable under Section 9, Article 7, Title 11 of the Personal, Private, Public, Professional Conduct Penal Code. You made that up. True, but we could write him up for littering, trespassing, and disturbing the peace. I have to deliver these videos. Boy, what a monotonoid. Can we arrest him now? In a minute, little buddy. Uh... Everyone loves My your cousin's show. wife's dentist loved your show. Oh, yeah. We've always been a big hit with the dentists. Gee, I wonder why. Hey, kids. Guzzle soda like the soda poppers, and you'll need so much expensive dental work, you can kiss college goodbye. 
Max, your unbridled cynicism is like a breath of fresh air on a crowded subway. Hmm? Sing the Soda Popper song. Any chance we could get you to sing the song from your old show? Yeah, the theme song. What was it called? It was called More Than Jerks. But I can't sing it. I'm too embarrassed. Uh... Are you anything like your character? Are you anything like the character you played on the TV show? Yeah, like do you really have to hit the John every five minutes? Sometimes every three minutes. It's like having a superpower. Oh, how about an autograph? How about an autograph for my pal, Max? You could write, to Max, thanks for saving my life that time in San Remo. Gee, I don't really have time. I've got a lot more videos to deliver. No time? Don't they give you bathroom breaks? <laughs> Sure, but I don't sign autographs in there anymore. He wouldn't like working at a Amazon. Let's see a funny Easter egg. Sure. Uh. Didn't I see you on a TV commercial a while back? Yeah, what was it? Bowl cleanser, adult diapers, erectile dysfunction? All three! Oh. Well, that's nice. What is? You sing the song three times. Have I mentioned? Doesn't ever. Come on, sing the soda popper theme song. No, I don't think so. What'll it take to get you to sing that song? We'll be your best friends. No. Are you sure you won't sing the soda popper song? I won't gnaw your leg off if you do it. No. Come on, sing the soda popper song. Pretty please. No. Come on, sing the soda popper song. Ugly please. No. Come on, sing the soda popper song. I promise not to sing along. No. Come on, sing the soda popper song. No. Come on, sing the soda popper song. Well, okay. <laughs> Little Peeper, Specs, and Whizzer Toiling at the soda works Guzzling with tiny gizzards Soda fountain special perks Then they run like human blizzards More than simple soda jerks Soda poppers more than jerks Wow, I feel all clam chowdery inside Sing that song again no. Sing that song again. No. Sing that song again. No. Well, that's nice. What is? Your fuse is six times, so you don't hear it. Yeah, he hated me. He hates me. He hates everything about me. Okay, time to arrest you. Put your you. hands on your head. You're under arrest. Oh, come on. It's a free country. No, it whoa, isn't. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Who told you that? This guy's suffering from some pretty severe delusions. Seriously now, you're under arrest. Come on. You don't have to make a federal case out of it. No, we don't have to. We want to. Seriously now, you're under arrest. Come on. You don't have to make a fed. No, we don't. Damn it. If you'll excuse us, we've got. I like how they they, they go. The Ibo video. We got one. Thanks. I, I. It's funny how like they'll go out of their way, be like, "Okay, you're under arrest now," and then they just ignore it, and then they're like, "Okay, well, I guess we're not arresting him." Now what? Oh, we can keep going. Oh, <gasps> stinkies! Straight and narrow. Whee! Only on season two. Damn. Go to lefties.
Can we actually go inside lefties now? It's a shame how many shops around here have shut down. It's a shame how many shops around here have shut down. They say graffiti is the poetry of our time. Just what we need. More lame poetry. This could use a little improvement. Hey, hey, hey! You messed it up! Oh, now I've got to fix it, Brain Freeze. Hey, Specs. Let's talk some more about you. What about it? Well, we'll... But you have to agree... Sorry. It's a shame how many shops around here. Hmm. I'm on the manhole. Let me check back at the, uh... Maybe I should go inside the office again. Hoodlums. Hmm. Maybe not. Whee! Well, I don't know anymore. Unless I can tell them to look away. Hey, peepers. Fibble! Right. You surely will figure it out. Um. You sure move fast for a man your age. Well, a constant diet of beverages loaded with caffeine and sugar gives me the blood pressure and heart rate of a hummingbird. Sam, what's the lifespan of a hummingbird? Hush, little buddy. Um. You're Two under arrest very for easy kidnapping to knock out. and impersonating a psychotherapist. Ridiculous! I'd never do that. After all, I'm a psychotherapist myself. You're definitely a psycho something. Seriously, I'm going to have to place you under arrest. How long have you felt these compulsions? It started when we found the lady in your closet. Ah, that. No, no, she's my patient. It's an experimental new therapy I'm trying. What? He's the nut, not me. Sam, I'm getting confused. You're not the only one, little buddy. This young woman claims that she's Sybil Pandemic, licensed psychotherapist. Which I am. Yes, it's an interesting delusion. She thinks she's me. I am you. I mean, oh, you know what I mean. Jumping whack job in the throes of a complete identity fracture. One of you's having a schism. Personally, I'd pick you. No, pick me, pick me! Look, even if you are civil pandemic, I'm pretty sure locking the lady in the closet is illegal. It's called isolation therapy. The sensory deprivation channels the patient towards introspection and helps her confront her own identity. Should it bother me that that makes sense? Definitely, little buddy. All right, well, I Excuse guess that's me for it. a minute, would you? Sure. Hmm. So there's something that I'd have to do to deal with. So I gotta do something with, um, 
these. Right? They say graffiti is the poetry of our time. Just what we need. More lame poetry. I think he missed a spot here. Doing? Don't oh, mess with my pain. I know what I need to do. Oh, I've gotta fix it all I know what up. I need to do. I know what I need to do. I just realized. Me smart, me smart. They say graffiti is a just what we need. This could use a look. Excuse me. I thought I said not to mess with my painting. Bye bye, little buddy. Can you believe we get paid for this? I love this country. You made me mess up. <laughs> now this is quality television. I mean, wait. My evil plan is being threatened. Good thing I have the other two twerps to handle it. <laughs> uh, it's still not quite right. <laughs> Well, we've admired our handiwork long enough. Maybe just one more second? Okay, let's go. Hate and love relationship. He's dead. Whee! He'll be out for a good while. Okay. It says this year's fashion is somehow different from last year's fashion. But I still I have the same brain happens. I had last year. Actually, you don't, but most people do. All right, I have an idea. Currently being terrorized. It's currently being terrorized. Ooh, fun! Man, woman, rabbit, rabbity thing. Uh oh. Time out for number one. Number one. Ooh. Ooh. Hmm. Boy, the security system in here is something else. I'll say. I'm glad I don't have pockets. 
Bosco's got a lot of interesting, if questionable, products in here. I think it's the only store in town where they carry those albino monkey crackers I got hooked on in Borneo. Do you smell something funny? Like the feet of the howling dam? There's a leaky can of aerosol meat in one of the aisles. Aha. Uh -huh. I thought I recognized the scent. Be careful not to set fire to anything while we're here. No promises. I'll let you get back to your shopping. Or whatever it was you were doing. Sometimes it's best not to ask. One is literally more than enough. No thanks. I brought my lunch today. Mm. Chilled and preserved fluids. I wonder if Bosco used the fluid sample I submitted. I hope not. I wonder if it's possible for me to go to the bathroom and then he can't use the bathroom. There's a way for me to lock the door. Say, Max. I am not getting in that thing again. It took me weeks to get the fishy smell out of my fur. Tongues placed on freezer become property of Bosco. I got quite a few tongues that week. It's a cheesy situation. Yeah, it is. If only I knew what the cheese... What I would do with the cheese, you know? Special on cheese. Only one piece left. You can never have too much cheese. Not ever! Hmm. Discounted cheese is nigh impossible to pass up. Here you go, Sam. Or Max. Nah. Hey, wizard, want some cheese? No, thanks. I just want to deliver videos. Mm. Why would I freeze that? Nope. Uh-uh. No thanks. No dice. As tempting as cheese covered in ketchup sounds, I'll pass. Sludgies. With one. This week's. Hmm. No can do. Hey, that's my box. Oh, my mistake. I often mistake other people's video boxes for my shopping cart. He does. Max has no shoes on. Okay, Mac, we want this cheese. Okay, standard cheese background check. I'll need to see at least six forms of ID, a valid federal cheese license, a completed organ donor card, a written release signed in the presence of a notary public, and your school report cards from the 9th through 12th grades. That's pretty inconvenient. It's okay, Sam. I can be brave. We just have to struggle cheeselessly onward. Now I think I'm gonna cry. We have Swiss cheese at home. Nah. Nope. Uh-uh. Hmm.
Nothing like a gaggle of security cameras pointed at a guy to make... I'm comfortable with it. Ooh, fun! Uh-oh! Time out for number one! No thanks. No dice. Oops. No can do. I don't know. I feel like I'm missing something, but I don't know what. Bathroom terror level. Red, extreme terror. Yellow, lots of terror. Green, probable terror. Ooh, fun! Uh-oh! Time out for number one! I think it's the tinge of green that makes this cup. I take my coffee. What? What? The crate that delivers bus. Hmm. Wait. Oh, I need to put it on him. Nah. Okay. Whee! Ooh, fun! Uh-oh! Time out for number one! If you really love someone, give them the gift of cheese. Ooh, I just can't wait to see the look on his face when it he gets it! Took me forever to figure that out. What the? Time out for number one! We're saved! That's a whole lot more entertaining when it's not happening to me. It's pretty entertaining either way. <laughs> oh, he wet his widow pants. <laughs> classic. Just classic. Except, hold on. My evil plan is in jeopardy. Who dares to oppose me? Hey, that was pretty good. <laughs> better, better. Hey, you just gonna leave him there? Uh... Probably. I don't want to wake him up. All right. Bye. Enjoy your, uh, I don't know, whatever. Do you like boxing? Not really, no. No. Oh. She's colorful enough as it is.
It's the one you need stuff to do it. Oh. I have an idea. Maybe he'll give me the, uh, the tear gas gun. Now that I've dealt with the what's-his-name. Buy the tear gas hey, grenade Bosco. launcher. Hey, you just gonna leave him there? Uh, you know, we did put the kibosh on that whole terrorist operation, so. How about some free stuff? Is that why you did this? For free stuff? Was this all a part of the plot? Yes, a labyrinthine scheme in which we paid off a former child star to deliver videos to your store just so that we could knock him out via your own security system and claim an undeserved reward. So you admit it. Conspiracy humor may be lost on this crowd. We want to buy something. What do you got your eye on? Give us the tear gas. Give me the 10,000 bucks. We got to find an illegally wealthy motorist. And quick. Nothing for us right now. Okay. See you later, Bosco. Remember, we never had this conversation. What conversation? The conversation we just had. No, see, he was just acting like he'd already forgotten the conversation. What conversation? Oh, brother. I have an idea. Let's go find a, a unbelievably wealthy motorist. Where are we going, Sam? Let's go cruise for lawbreakers, Max. Goody! Alright, let's find a rich person. freelance police and you are not ergo we call the shots around here oh why did you stop me according to our homemade radar gun you were just exceeding the speed of light that's not physically possible oh would you like me to demonstrate what's physically possible well, considering you didn't actually commit the crime we're accusing you of, I suppose we'll just let you off with a warning this time. Alright, so I need to shoot off the taillight. Hmm, no one seems to be breaking the law today. I know, what's the problem? Start committing some crimes, you sick bunch of reprobates. Let's see. Please accept my condolences for your tail light. Sam one, tail light zero. Pull over, or we'll be forced to destroy your car and its occupants, if any. Greetings, anonymous motorist. If you were planning to bribe us, now would be the appropriate time. What's the charge? Your tail light's busted. But you're the ones who broke it. Your point being... Hmm, what's the fine for a broken taillight? 
Why isn't it ten thousand dollars? What are you crazy? One second, allow me to confer with my legal counsel. <clears throat> my attorney has advised me to pay the fine. Now, if you'll excuse us, we got some accounting to do. Thanks, sucker. <laughs> at home. Thanks for the money, idiot. Hello. Hello, yes, we'd like to purchase. Hey, Bosco. Hey, you just... Uh, I want to buy something. You want to buy... What do you got your eye on? The tear gas. We got your tear gas money right here. Really? All right, here you go. One tear gas grenade launcher. Thanks. This is a salad shooter filled with onions. But it works. Trust me, trust me. Now put that away before no, someone gets hurt. No, he said trust hurt. me twice. What do you mean? The 10000 just covered the cost of materials, you know. Oh, I'm sure. It's okay, everybody. I'm all right. All right, let's go ahead and, um... Use our, our onion launcher. Sybil? Yes? Uh, the other Sybil. What is that? Don't worry, this won't hurt a bit. No! <laughs> but it will make you cry. <laughs> Please, Sam, allow me. Now, peepers, this is going to hurt us a lot more than it's going to hurt you. Just kidding, it'll definitely hurt you more. Sweet dreams, peeps! I can see you! <laughs> oh my, that was great. That was great. Wait a second. My evil plan is in ruins! The dog and bunny will rue the day they crossed me! Rue the day, I say! <laughs> All right. Nice work, you two. Now I can try to bring him out of his hypnotic state. Take control of your mind. I don't think he can hear you. Sure he can. He's unconscious, not dead. Minor detail. Destroy the intruder in your dreams. Regain control. What? Hey, what am I doing here? What's going on? Sybil? My name's not Sybil. It's Peepers. Oh, yes, it is. Are you okay? How do you feel? I've got a bit of a headache. I had the weirdest dream! And there was someone unusual in your dream, wasn't there? Yes! Brady Culture was there! He kept telling me to do stuff! Aha! Uh -huh. I knew it! That fiend hypnotized you to do his unspeakable bidding. Peepers, what's the last thing you can remember? I remember checking in at Brady Culture's home for former child stars. He has his own nut house? Wow, we gotta meet this guy! Where can we find this home for former child stars? Oh, very secret. No one must ever find it. Think of a scandal. But we need to find it so we can stop the madness, in a manner of speaking. I want to help, but I just can't remember where it is. Oh. But my brothers might. They went with me. Uh, hey, I, I didn't do anything really embarrassing, did I? Nothing a simple exorcism can't fix. Oh, dear. <laughs> Uh, okay, now we have to go get the, the bodies of the others. Whee! <clears throat> uh, 
Uh, take control of your mind. Is it working? I don't know. Destroy the intruder in your dreams. Snap out of it, you big baby! Wh what's going on? Why is my outfit all wrinkled? He's back. Quick, act like a chicken. No, tell us where we can find Brady Culture's home for former child stars. We've got to stop that fiend from hypnotizing anyone else. The home? It's 227 something. Wizard would remember the street. He always does the driving. Can you take us there? Are you kidding? I've got hours, hours of ironing to do. Well, that was helpful. Bro. Right, well, time to go to whizzing or whatever. Go to the door to rescue Sybil. Oh, really? Huh. Hello! Alright, Weezer, get up. Whee! Take control of your mind. Destroy the intruder in your dreams. Nicely done, Sam. You're a natural. Oh, where am I? Who are you? Don't worry. We're freelance police. Police? Oh, no! He's getting away in that truck! Quick, follow that soda popper. Yes. Hurry, oh. Sam. He's getting away! Ah, oh, shoot. Again. I actually clicked off of the game. Shoot! Aside from the fact that we just plugged your truck, why would you think we'd shoot you? Except for the obvious sport value, of course. It's just, you always see cops on the news beating up some guy just because he's a former child star. We would never dream of hurting former child stars. We just need to find the home where Brady Culture keeps them. Oh, why didn't you say so? It's right over there, across the street. Jumping elephant fleas. How devilishly convenient. Thanks. Um, does anyone know where I can find a bathroom? Monkey. Disturbing little monkey. Reminds me of a job I had once. You were a monkey? Essentially. Locked. How long is this game? I think someone was sitting here. And leaking. Looks like a shifty character to me. Don't they all? This one's very locked. Hmm. It says here they only treat patients with something called artificial personality disorder. Sounds tasty. What's in it? Apparently it's common in former child stars. Symptoms in also food, funny uh, enough let's see. Beat Obsession first. with fame, violent reactions to hairstyling, um, and an unconscious desire to see one's keepers. peers getting older. Forsooth! Then, you don't even know what that means, do you? No, but it sounds all classically peepers. literate. It will be specs or peepers in the end that run from you. Oh.
Hmm. It didn't like it. I bet we have to get that officially filled out by a licensed psychiatric professional. Trust me, I have experience with these things. I see. Where are we going, Sam? Back to the office. That's fun. Do you think I might have artificial personality disorder? Hmm, interesting. Symptoms include, uh, let's see, obsession with fame, violent reactions to hairstyling, and an unconscious desire to see one's peers getting older. Hey, I know! I could psychoanalyze you! Will this be painful? Only if we do it right. Now, there are a couple things we can try. We could look at some ink blots, we could try some free association, I could interpret your dreams for you. Uh, ink blots. How do ink blots work? And can we make them ourselves? It's easy. I just show you some pictures, and you tell me what you see. Your responses can reveal things like obsessions, or uh, obsessions. Take a look at this, and tell me what you see. <sighs> uh... the results of the last time I let Max drive. All right. Now, how about this one? Uh... St. Val... Uh... The St. Valentine's Day Massacre. And this? A squirrel that got run over twice. Now this one. What do you see? Uh... Twenty nuns with machine guns. Twenty nuns guns. with machine guns. Out for vengeance. Out for vengeance. And this one? Uh... A debit card fed through a document shredder. A debit card fed through a document shredder. You seem fairly focused on violence, but it's probably nothing to worry about. Thanks, Doc. Do you think I might have artificial personality disorder? Maybe, but people with APD are known for their obsession with fame. Okay. Can we do some more ink blots? Those are entertaining. Sure. Let's take another look at your unseemly obsessions. Take a look at this and tell me what you see. So I need it needs to be fame. Susan Lucci holding an Emmy. I see. Now, how about this one? Uh This Pigeons one. on the marquee at Man's Chinese Theater. And this? Uh... Autograph written in Braille. An autograph written in Braille. Now this one. What do you see? Uh... This one. A cheering crowd of lanky albinos. And this one? That blotchy thing that a flashbulb does to your eyes. Well, your choices indicate an obsession with fame. There we go, we That's did it. That's one of the indicators of artificial personality disorder. I'd better make a note on your chart. Yay. Very interesting. We should test you for the other symptoms of APD. Whatever you Dang. say, Sawbones. I'm not a Sawbones. I'm a psychotherapist. Tomato, tomato. Hey, I'm getting hungry. What's free association like? It's a test of your reactions to things in your life. 
I say a word, and then you just say or do the first thing that comes into your head. Dance a samba, recite the alphabet, scream at the top of my lungs, that sort of thing? Hmm, interesting. Have we started already? No, but now we will. Ready? Is that the word? No, the word is tumbleweed. Max almost lost a finger in a fan like that once. Yeah, but it wasn't my own finger. Trigger word induces grisly memory in subject. Possibility of Finfelter syndrome. Now try this one. Crown. Just do or say whatever comes naturally. What do you think of this free association stuff, Max? Seems like a crock of weak tea to me, Sam. Hmm. Dialogue with imaginary friend. Very imaginary friend. Hey, I'm not imaginary. If you say so, comb. Word to the wise, never put your tongue on a cactus. Or vice versa. Trigger word causes strange culinary impulses. Possible organic malaise fixation. Well, this has been illuminating. What's the verdict? I'll let you know after years of insanely expensive treatment. Anything to support small local businesses. We can always sell organs on the black market to raise the cash. Just so they're not ours, little buddy. Do you think I might have artificial personality disorder? Maybe, but people with APD are known for their violent reactions to hairstyling. Let's try some more free association. That will tell us more about your unreasonable reactions to the elements of your life. Remember, I'll say words, and you just do or say whatever comes naturally. Ready? Sure, go okay. ahead. Cow. Uh, cow. Uh... Oh, that's very significant. Closets are often associated with feelings of shame. Hey, it's your closet. How about this word? Drill. Max almost lost a finger in a fan like that once. Yeah, but it wasn't my own finger. Trigger word induces grisly memory in subject. Possibility of Finfelter syndrome. Dryer. Just do or say whatever comes naturally. Ah, the tiki. Hold over from the days when you could sell all kinds of cheap crap without a successful children's television uh, show. that one. Subject displays symptoms of ironic nostalgia complex. Well, this has been illuminating. Am what? I sane? The jury's still out. Your reactions didn't tell me anything conclusive. Do you think I might have artificial personality disorder? Damn Maybe, it. but people with APD are known for their violent reactions to <sighs> hairstyling. Let's try some more free association. That will tell us more about your unreasonable reactions to the elements of your life. All right. Remember, I'll say words, and you just do or say whatever comes naturally. Ready? Fire away, Grizzly. Lug nut. Oh, that's very significant. Closets are often associated with feelings of shame. Hey, it's your closet. Fluoride. Just do or say whatever comes naturally. Oh, that's very significant. Closets are often associated with feelings of shame. <laughs> hey, it's your closet. Teasing. Oh, that's very significant. Closets are often associated with feelings of shame. Hey, it's your closet. Well, this has been illuminating. Am I closet. sane? Closet. The jury's closet. still out. Your reactions didn't tell me anything conclusive. Do you think I might have artificial personality disorder? Maybe, but people with APD are known for their violent reactions to hairstyling. What does that mean? Violent reactions to hairstyling. Let's try some more free association. That will tell us more about your unreasonable reactions to the elements of your life. Remember, I'll say words, and you just do or say whatever comes naturally. Ready? Ready is a rooster taking a bath in barbecue sauce. Interesting choice of words. How about pastiche? <laughs> That's not a word, is it? Fox. This reminds me of a cat I had once. Trigger word brings up memories of cat. No, no, the fox does. Brings up memories of fox. 
No, the fox. Oh, forget it. Causes subject to forget foxes. Possible Alzheimer's. Polish. Can we look at some pictures? Subject shows preference for inkblot test while undergoing free association test. Possible ergonomic schism. Shampoo. Just do or say whatever comes naturally. Whee! Are you sure those diplomas are all real? There's no such place as Utah, is there? Subject responds by questioning the credentials of his therapist. Well, this has been illuminating. Am I sane? The jury's still out. Your reactions didn't tell me anything conclusive. Do you think I might have artificial personality disorder? Maybe, but people with APD are known for their violent reactions to hairstyling. Let's try some more free association. That will tell us more about your unreasonable reactions to the elements of your life. Remember, I'll say words, and you just do or say whatever comes naturally. Ready? Yep. Credo. My, my, look at the time. Subject makes note of the time. Possible scheduling anxieties or childhood trauma. Filling. Just do or say whatever comes naturally. Your sign is crooked. You ought to straighten it. Subject exhibits proclivities for order upon hearing trigger word, possible OCD. Tint, just do or say whatever comes naturally. Oh, that's very significant. Closets are often associated with feelings of shame. Hey, it's your closet. Well, this has been illuminating. Am I sane? The jury's still out. God your damn reactions it. didn't tell me anything conclusive. Do you think Fucking I might bullshit. have artificial personality disorder? No, you know, maybe, maybe, but people but with APD people are, with are known for their violent their reactions, violent reactions to, hair to hair styling. Let's try some more free association. That will tell us more about your unreasonable reactions to the elements of your life. Remember, ready? Yep. Prolifer- There's three things of cactus here. Let me just try cactus. Word to the wise. Never put your tongue on a cactus. Or vice versa. Trigger word. Now try this one. Just do or say. Word to the wise. Or vice versa. Trigger word. Comb. Whee! Can we look at some pictures? Subject economics. Well. Am the jury. Do you think. May. Ready? Yep. Scoundrel. Lamp black. Interesting. How about this word? Drill. Promenade. I see. Dryer. Just do or say. Sample size. What an unusual response. Well, this has been... Am I... S the jury's... Do you think I'm... Maybe... Hmm, okay. Let's, Let's try it again. Try some more. That will tell... Ready? Is that the word? No, the word... Calorie consciousness. Mm-hmm. Fluoride. Just do or say... Aquamarine. Really? Inter teasing. The fuck is this? Promenade. I thought you might say something like that. I'm getting good at this. Well, this has been a. Am I sane? The jury's still out. You're. Do you think I'm a. Maybe. Let's try mm. some more free association. That will tell. Ready? Sure, go ahead. Cow. Um. My, my, look at the subject polish. Do you think this would work? Subject wishes to assume supine position. Trigger word apparently shampoo. Just do or say whatever comes natural. Can I sit in the tattoo? Me first! Trigger word induces unusual desire for tattoo in subject. 
possible sim- Well, this- Am I sane? The Do you think I might have- Maybe, but- Hmm. Let's try- That will tell us more about you. Remember, I'll- Ready? Fire away, Grizzly. Lug nut. Can I play with that? No. Trigger word results in childlike impulses, indicative of id distortion. Filling. Just do or say whatever comes naturally. Ah, the tiki. Successful children's time. Subject displays symptoms of ironic tint. Just do or say whatever comes... Relax. Who says I'm not relaxed? Oh, right, we're freely associating. Sorry. Well, this has been... Am I sane? The jury st Do you think I might- Maybe? Let's try some more free association. Mm. That will tell us more about your unreasonable reaction. Remember, I'll ready? Ready is a roost. Interesting choice of words. <laughs> what do you think of this free association? Seems like a crack of weak teeth. Hmm. Dialogue with imaginary- Hey, I'm not a ma- if you say so, now try this one. Just do or say. Can I play with that? No, comb. My, my. Subject, well, this has been. Am I sane? The jury's still. Do you think I'm. Maybe. Hmm. Let's try. Remember, ready? Yep. Credo. Eucalyptus. Interesting. How about this word? Frozen concentrated orange juice. I see. Dryer. Just do or say. Hullabaloo. What an unusual response. Well, this has. Am I sane? The jerk. Do you think I. Maybe. God damn it. Actually, let's save the psychoanalysis for later. Hmm. Postponing responsib- Alright. Oh, man. Um. I am getting tired. It's been a little bit. Uh, I've been streaming. About four hours or so. I think we did pretty good. Um. Yes, but get out of here. Yeah. I've been streaming for a little bit here. I'm I'm doing the I'm tired, it's eleven o'clock at night voice. Um we'll be back with this on uh Sunday seven PM Central Time. Um that's what I have scheduled. I might stream on Saturday. Uh We'll see how I'm feeling. Um, so, uh, 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 uh. <clears throat> so yeah, that's just how it be. I've had a, I'm, I'm, I had fun. I like Salmon Max. It's fun. It's wacky. It's goofy. It's not that one, but um, I don't know how long each of these episodes are. Uh, but, I mean, there's a lot here. Um, a lot of Sam and Max episodes. Which is great. I love it. It's great stuff. So, I'm completely down for it. Uh, and, yeah, I don't know. Anyways, I hope you have a good morning, a good day, good afternoon, good evening, good night. Um, I'll see you in the next one. Yeah.